Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. It is Wednesday at 12.10 p.m. on the 16th of the 3rd, 2016. Okay, on the weather zone radar, you can see that we have a significant tropical low developed in the Gulf region, in the, in the southern Gulf. It is currently tracking towards the east-northeast. This low is expected to develop into a cy possible cyclone today or early tomorrow. You can see also down here through the North Queensland coast that, that this is a monsoon trough extending to the east and a convergence has developed there through Townsville overnight, delivered 138 mils of rain. Down here in southeast Queensland, the scattered showers have returned and we do so also have the chance of isolated thunderstorms, which one has just developed here over Nambour. Through southern inland parts of Queensland, we expect showers and thunderstorms to develop this afternoon and this evening, southern and western Queensland there, and Cunnamulla picked up a healthy 72 mils overnight, Georgetown up here 99, there's been some good isolated but good falls around. Okay, so if we progress on to now onto the um, low level wind forecast chart from BSCH and GFS model, um, this is for 4pm today. Uh, you can see that the estimated forecast position is there between Mornington Island and the western coast of Gulf Country. Okay, um, down the coast here we have the monsoon trough and convergence area still hanging around there through Townsville to Cairns. So we would expect some heavy rainfall to develop or continue through these regions here. But a lot of the focus of the activity is going to be surrounding this, this um, tropical low potential cyclone for heavy rain and obviously across the north there as northwest winds bring, bring heavy showers and thunderstorms with rain areas across the peninsula. Down here into southeast Queensland you can see this, the solid onshore winds from the southeast generating um, scattered showers. We do have instability over the area in the upper level so that can increase some of these showers to thunderstorms and a surface trough and upper level trough over southern and then Queensland with, with plenty of moisture being fed in there to generate showers and storms. But the focus will be on this low potential cyclone up the top here. If we progress on to Thursday morning, you can see that the, the GFS model predicts the, the ex-tropical cyclone or category one cyclone to be located over the Gulf country. All right, it has moved over land by tomorrow morning. Um, I will mention there are a lot, of, a lot of model variants at the moment, but I have used this one because it, it, it does seem to have picked up the system accurately in its locations. Um, down the coast here we have strong northwest flow, monsoon flow across the peninsula, um, wrapping back into the monsoon trough extending across the coast here um, between, say, about Bowen, Townsville and Cairns. So again, heavy showers and thunderstorms with rain areas through through there tomorrow morning, and and down here in southeast Queensland, onshore winds are maintained with that with that trough through southern inland Queensland. Um, tomorrow afternoon, I'm broken it down a little bit closer for you just to show you what what um, is expected to occur. On GFS, it believes that the the XTC or tropical low is then again expected to be forecast to be positioned over the Gulf Country. Very strong northwest monsoon flow across the top of the peninsula delivering showers and thunderstorms, heavy rain areas down into Cairns as well and extending down here to about Hamilton Island Bowen with the convergence across the coast there. So anywhere from about Bowen to Mount Isa North would be expecting heavy activity. Friday morning, this is where things start to become very scattered across the model board. Uh, there's a great deal of uncertainty with, with what is forecast across all models, not just one. So it's a bit of a forecast nightmare at the moment as trying to determine where this, this low TC goes, whether it develops out here in the coral. But again, the focus will be on heavy rain, which I'll show you. So 4 a.m. Friday, it has a low level circulation centre or, or, or tropical low here over the, the Gulf Country and another potential system developing here off the North Queensland coast between Townsville and Cairns. On Friday afternoon, we can see that the both systems are still there. Um, a tropical low here between Townsville and Cairns. Now, any anywhere between, say, say Bowen and, and about Mount Isa or, say, Georgetown, anywhere in this northern Queensland area, 
could be st- could be expecting scattered showers and thunderstorms with heavy rainfall as well. If we go out to Saturday, um, you can see that things are a bit of a mess as far as forecast scenarios are concerned. There's a monsoon trough, strong monsoon trough extending east from Cairns out into the Coral. GFS forecasts that the uh, tropical low will head back towards the northwest. It scoots it out here somewhere in the longer term, but there's really no point looking at that when models are so divided. Let's go over here and have a look at the rainfall forecast from the Bureau of Meteorology. Um, you can see that a focus of the heavy activity, 100 mils plus is from about Townsville north uh, and Mount Isa north, with isolated falls of up to 300. Now this is not a, a, the highest resolution model and it takes into consideration a lot of models, so you could get isolated totals of up to 500 here too over the next four days. Down into southeast Queensland, further scattered showers and possible isolated thunderstorms with falls there ranging from, from 15 to, to, to 25 millimetres. A tropical cyclone watch has been issued or is a warning, it's a, it's a, it's a tropical low but it's a cyclone forecast map um, for areas between Burketown and Cape Kiwi. Uh, they, they forecast that uh, by 10 p.m. tonight we could have a Category 1 system crossing the coast there near the Gilbert River mouth. Beyond that you can see there is a great deal of uncertainty with the forecast tracks anywhere between Cairns and Cape Flattery or Lockhart River up there. Big forecast margin for error. Uh, but the immediate warning remains between Burketown and there. I will scroll down and quickly brief it for you and just show you details of tropical low. Sustained winds currently at 55 k's with gusts to 85. Uh, it's located 120 k's northeast of Mornington Island. There's a cyclone warning declared for coastal communities between Burketown to Cape Kiwi. A low may develop into a tropical cyclone later as it approaches the southern Cape York Peninsula with gales between Burketown and the Cape particularly between Kawanyama and Karumba. Very heavy rainfall leading potential flash flooding between Weeper and Burketown this evening should gradually extend inland Thursday. That's for the immediate system. However, we do have other convergence areas over the North Queensland coast in the meantime. Okay, let me head over here and I will show you that this is a member, this is a, a Facebook forecast video. Our members get much more detailed forecast videos and mapping. To be, if you head over and become a premium member, you can see that we have our own tropical low and cyclone threat map across the top end, which outlines any heavy rainfall, 250, 500 mil there across the top. And of course, we have our daily forecast maps. Tropical low to impact North Queensland, possible storms for Southern, We've got rainfalls there. Scroll down here into southern Queensland and you can see we've highlighted the chance of thunderstorms down here which are occurring. Uh, many people don't see these maps yet. They come over to our Facebook site and flap their gums about our inaccuracy. I've had about a gut full of it. So how about I start ramming these, these maps down Winge's throats just to show you how accurate we are with a lot of our mapping on the members' sites. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. That's the case. You can see the tropical low on the radar is spinning, it's tightening. There is a low level circulation centre. There is convection surrounding it. There is heavy convection, rain and thunderstorms across the north and down the, the north tropical Queensland coast, which we do expect this to continue in coming days. If you, are ex if you are planning to travel to these areas in north Queensland, please be mindful of heavy rain and flash flooding, especially if you're on the roads, just watch out for the surface water. If you're heading towards more remote areas, be very mindful of the heavy rainfall that has fallen in the area recently and what could fall in coming days because these roads out here uh, become flooded easily and are cut off. If it's flooded, forget it. Don't try and drive through them. Um, and, and these areas could become isolated for a few days off across various parts, obviously, due to wherever heavy rain may fall. All right, that's enough for me, guys. Our next forecast video to Facebook will be tomorrow morning, along with our members' high-detailed forecast tomorrow morning as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay safe.